Hi, I'm Jenny Tomes. This little lesson is presented by Port St. Lucie Utility Systems, connected to the community since 1994. Our little lesson is going to answer the question, how much water is on our planet? So take a look at the picture of our planet Earth here. What two colors do you see? You see green and blue, right? All right, so what's the green part? That's the land. And what's the blue part? Blue part is the water. That's the main focus of our lesson today is all of this blue stuff that you see on our planet Earth right here. Do you know the percentage of water versus land? You may have talked about this in school, but I'm going to remind you. So about 70 to 73 percent of the Earth's surface is covered with water. So when we go to the beach and swim in the ocean, what kind of water are we swimming in? We're swimming in salt water, right? So that's majority of the blue that you see here is that salt water. Salt water is wonderful. A lot of things depend on that salt water for their survival. There's a lot of plants, a lot of different fish, different animals that need that salt water to survive. But what about us? What kind of water do humans need to survive? What about our pets, our dogs, our cats? What about our house plants or our plants here in the yard? What kind of water do those things need? We need fresh water, absolutely. We need fresh water to survive. So looking at our planet, again, majority of it is salt water. There's not a lot of fresh water. There are a couple places that we can find it though. So let me show you some pictures. So you can find fresh water in some rivers, lakes, here in Florida, you can find fresh water in springs. You can also find fresh water deep, deep, deep underground in aquifers. Now that's another little lesson for another time. We're going to focus more on aquifers, but for now, we're just going to talk about these couple resources. You can also find fresh water in its solid form in glaciers. Now we can't drink a glacier, can we? Absolutely not. We can't drink a glacier, but um, that's, that makes up for a, a huge portion of our fresh water. It's frozen in glaciers, okay? So we've got these couple examples of where we can find our fresh water. So what's the percentage? I said most of our planet, right, is salt water. What's the percentage of fresh water? It's a very, very small, sad little number. It's only 3%. 3% of all the water on planet Earth is fresh water. 3%, that's it. So 2% is frozen in glaciers, right, which we can't drink. And then 1%. 1%, that's it. That's all we can access for our fresh water, okay? So let's put that in perspective. So I've got a bowl of water here. We are going to pretend that this bowl of water represents all the water that can be found on Earth, okay? So we said most of it is salt water, so let's get it salt water ready. So I have a couple little salty sea creatures that we're going to put in here. We have a stingray, right? So let's put that in there. Good job, buddy. Got an octopus. We're going to put that in our salty sea water. We've got a sea anemone. That's fun to say. All right, let's put that in there. And then it's not salt water without salt, right? All right, so let's put some salt water in there. Lots of salt water. Lots of salt water. Okay. All right, so now we've got our salty sea water with our little sea creatures in it. Now remember, do you remember the percentage I said of fresh water is on Earth? Tiny, tiny little number, just 3%. 2% is frozen in glaciers, and 1% we can actually access. So let me find some glaciers here. All right, so there's my glaciers. All right, so these are just two little rocks. We're going to pretend are frozen glaciers. We'll put those in there just to compare. All right. And then just 1%, just 1% is left over fresh water that we can actually access. So there's my little fresh water bead. That represents our fresh water. Whoop. Oh, floats. All right, perfect. So look, that's what we've got. All of that salt water and 2% of fresh water frozen in glaciers, and 1% of water that's fresh that we can actually access. So it's so important. It's so important to save and to conserve because there's not a lot of water. Our planet looks like otherwise, right? Our planet looks like we're loaded with water, and we are, but it's salt water. 
We need fresh water. There's only 1%, 1% of all this water that we can actually access for fresh water. So you want to make sure that you're doing anything you can to help save it and protect it and not waste it. So make sure when you're brushing your teeth that you don't leave the faucet running. When you're washing dishes, you don't leave the water running. Make sure you're taking short showers, like five minute showers. That would be so helpful in helping to conserve and save and protect that 1% of fresh water that we have on earth. Okay, hope you learned a lot today. Let me know if there's anything else you would like me to cover in a little lesson. Just send me an email at jtomes at cityofpsl.com. If you need help, get a grown up, get a family member to help you, send me that email, jtomes at cityofpsl.com. You can also tell me if there are ways at home that you like to save water, any of those daily habits that you have to help save and conserve water. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Little Lessons.